Welcome to Root Stem and welcome to a 2500 point battle report between Slanesh Demons and Bailtan Eldar. Hi guys, welcome. Um, we've got a, a bit of a hybrid game again. Uh, if you've actually watched any of the previous battle reports, I like to use the open play cards. We've got two and a half thousand point match play game using match play rules, but using the open play deployment objective and twist. And uh, that's simply because it gives us a very nice random, completely random deployment, completely random objective, and then sometimes can even like go, oh yeah, it's night fighting. So if you've got two shoot yarmies that suddenly end up with night fighting, it's like, all oh, right, okay, <laughs> you can't really predict it. Especially when you're making match play armies as well. It makes it very, very hybrid and very strange. Chris is back on the channel. His beard is getting more and more mighty. Evening. Yeah. Evening. And if you've ever played open play cards before, you've got to draw an objective card. So, go on then, Chris, before we show any armies, what deployment zones have we got? Yes. Oh, a standard. Standard Dawn of War deployment zone. Objective card next then, Chris. Supply cache. Right, okay. So, uh, each player taking it in turn to play six objective markers. Each must place more than six inches away from the other. At the start of each player's turn, they must roll a dice for each marker they control. In any order they wish. If they roll a six, they have found the supply cache. Hmm. Remove the other markers, that player controls it until the end of the fifth battle round and wins. So, there's a potential of six objectives on the field. Yeah, one of them is correct, but it could be one that you're already on, because you have to keep rolling. Yeah. That would be uh, quite interesting. And the twist card then, please, Chris. Twist. Da, da, da. Many paths to victory. Draw an extra objective card. Before uh, both objective cards are used this battle. If one player achieves one of the objectives each, then the battle is a tie. Right, okay. Back to another objective. Go on then, sir. Second objective is War of Attrition. At the end of the fifth battle round, the player with the highest total. Alright, each player adds up the power rating of all enemy units that are destroyed during the battle. So not only have we got to hold objectives, we've got to annihilate each other. That sounds like a good mission for Slayanish Demons and Bell Ten Eldar, that, to be honest with you. Yeah, but bookkeeping, friend. Bookkeeping. Ah, oh, it's not until end of game. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Right, let's get some armies out. So this is 2,500 points of Eldar for this game. Um, it's basically two battalions, so I've got at least four two. I've got actually more than four HQs and at least more than six troop choices. I've actually got quite a few. Uh, I'm just going to run through them, of course, I've got a avatar, which I am using one of the, I think it's like a dark Eldar figure that came out quite a bit back. Um, he's just basically, because I actually think it's quite a good figure for the Eldar, and he's holding the heart, which is always good for uh, Bell Tan. Uh, we've then got a Bone Singer, he's not an HQ, he's an Elite's choice, but I thought I've got a few tanks, need to try and keep him alive as best I can. A custom made Azraman, I do need to get him a banner. Uh, but as with all projects, I've got that much on sometimes, I don't get a chance to. Um, then we've also got a Farseer. The Farseer is going to have a, he's going to sacrifice his smite power for a runes of fortune, which is going to be focus will, which did get errated, so basically he's going to be able to add two to any future casting rolls. He's also going to contain himself with doom and fortune. Then we've got a Warlock Conclave. Warlock Conclave is going to have, um, Protect slash Jinx, and it's also going to have Quicken, I believe. I might change that. And then we've also got a Warlock Skyrunner with a Singing Spear. There's three Singing Spears in that unit. This one's also going to have Protect slash Jinx, because I'm wanting to knock off his invulnerable saves if possible. Um, backing those guys up, we've got three units of Dire Avengers. One of eight, two of ten. This unit and this unit contains Dire Sword, whereas that unit contains Shimmer Shield. I bought them second hand, otherwise they'd all contain dire swords, especially when in proximity to him. Unit of five Wraith Guard with Wraith Cannons, and a unit of 20 Guardians with a Bright Lance and a Rocket Launcher. We've also got three units of Rangers, five men apiece, apologise for them, they are the old school metal and I've not had a chance to be able to repaint them. And then we're backing that up as well with five Dark Reapers plus an X-Shark, so six in total. And 
the tanks so I've gone for two old school vehicles you can see from the left and the right I've got a Falcon with twin shuriken cannon and the bright and the pulse laser and we've got two fire prisms one new one old eventually this will look more like this but it's getting there it's again it's having time I've got over 5,000 points worth of these lads plus other armies it's having time to paint them uh, every, all my vehicles are going to have spirit stones of course and then I've got a forge world warp hunter with a shuriken cannon that should come in handy if Chris does decide to charge, since it tends to auto-hit. Doesn't look much, but it is 2,500 points worth of Eldar. Not a lot there, but it should do the job. Up first here is going to be my Warlord. He is actually going to have the Bell Tan. I think it's called Natural Leader. Um, it basically allows the unit within three to be able to re-roll hit rolls. Chris is ready. He's giving himself a pause. Yeah. Right. Run me down what we've got. We've got two battalions and one of the elite choices, haven't we? Yeah, two battalions and one Supreme Command. Hey. So, oh, yeah, Supreme Command, sorry, yeah. Yeah, so first battalion is my Warlord Keeper, yep. using the new rules. Uh, Snapping Claws, Shining Aegis, Soul Stealer. Uh, it's got Celerity for a Warlord trait, and yep. it's level two, so he's obviously got his Smite, but then Pervain of Ash and Symphony of Pain. Okay. Uh, his second Demon Prince is the Standing Bellicor. Yep. Um, so he is winged. Uh, he's got two malefic talons. Um, with his level one, he's got a cacophonic choir. Okay. I've then got four units out of his bunch of demonettes. How many demonette units have you got in total? Uh, six. six. Right, I have no problem. So we've got six demonette units. Yep. All, all of these four are ten strong and yep. they all have the instruments. Okay. I have two units of three things. I really uh, don't know why I jumbled them up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, female and male. That's <laughs> yeah, well, well, there's a party going on. Yeah. No, so uh, I've got two of my three saw grinders in this detachment. All of them are standard, so they have the warp sword, they have the harvest cannon, and flame bombardment. Okay. And then the second battalion. And there's three, like you say, in total, there's three. There is three, but two yep. in this one. In the second battalion, two demon princes, again, they're all stock standard. Yep. Um, so they're both again winged, uh, malefic talons times two. Yep. Uh, one has delightful agonies, which is the dweller in the deep model. Uh, that one, yeah. And then hysterical frenzy on the color bar model in the back. No problem. Three of my demonetti units. Yeah, yeah. This one is eleven, just because of points. Points. <laughs> my third standard grinder, yep. my small unit of eighteen seekers. Can that be one squad as well? Oh, aye. 20s. Is it like a sergeant or anything in that? Um, I can't remember from <laughs> uh, I've not paid any points for one anyway. Um, I think I've got three toys left. This one, yep. the Supreme Command is two heralds. Yeah. Uh, both using stop. some Tunisian, uh, convert slightly converted Tunisian figures on those, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. are, friend, but they are Sunni. I know. If you look close enough, they are Sunni. Painting them up. That's how I painted them up because I painted this entire army. That's how I painted them up. So. I'm defining them by Sword Up Guy has got Delightful Agonies okay. and Sword Down Guy has got Symphony of Pain. Okay, and they're both masks. They're but no, they're just standard heralds. Standard heralds. And the no mask problem. is just a foot slogger. Oh yeah, we're using yeah, needed an extra model, so we're using a mask as a foot slogger. And then lastly is this prince. Now this is a prince on foot or a princess on foot, however you see it. Um, two malefic talons and has hysterical frenzy. So that's a demon prince this time. It as well. is. In some of the past games, just so you guys know, he has sometimes rocked that as one of those um, a demon prince of slash um, rather than these demon princes with the mark of slash. Didn't, didn't have the points. Yeah. Didn't, have, didn't have the points. Right. No problem. That does look chewy and tasty. It looks like it's going to try and chomp its way through some Eldar souls. Right, Chris is on this side, I'm on the other. Let's deploy and get underway. Right, we are down. We've got some rangers down this side, some guard, rift guards, some guardians, some tanks. Everyone within, hopefully, bubbles of bubbles of bubbles. The two fire prisms with a bone singer off to the, uh, my left. On Chris's right, we've got three grinders. They're probably going to be charging up. And then, of course, his usual splobs of infantry and characters uh, knocking up and down. The blobs of infantry will probably die very quickly, but that's his game plan. It doesn't matter about the little demons. It's the big ones that I've got to watch out for. It's a bit like versus a weird tyrant in army. <laughs> Alright, but I managed to get all my units down first, so I am going to be getting a plus one to this dice roll. And I got a seven. Oh, so I'm... I can't lose, but before you roll that, it depends whether or not I decide to go first or second. 
I am actually going to let Chris go first. Oh yeah, they're in reserve by the way, so turn two for them, turn two for them. Right then guys, let's let Chris get his movement phase over with. Chris's force has moved up the battlefront. Some of his beasts are a bit laboured due to the restrictions on the ruins. Um, but the rest of the guys are moving forward. Now, normally I wouldn't, and we normally just skip along a, uh, a psychic phase, but I'll be honest, <laughs> Chris doesn't really have that much shooting. So technically the psychic phase is his shooting. So, go on then sir, what powers are we casting? Right, so uh, I'll start down here, okay. and I'm probably just going to smite away. So the now. first smite, so that will be a five with it being, the, or is it going to be him? Yeah. So smiting away this guy into these, he is in range, <laughs> failed. So the second smite, which would need a five because he's not successful in the first one, has been successful. So that's D3 mortal wounds upon these fellows here. And that will remove two, and then he's doing a last smite here, which will now need a six. Which he gets a twelve, so that will be D6 mortal wounds, and D3 wounds upon himself. Right, I'm going to choose to re-roll the dice. Are you sure? Yeah. Because you're going to get D6 mortal wounds against these. Yeah, but I don't want to suffer any myself. Oh, okay. No problem. So he's going to re-roll, knocking him down to eleven. Yeah. Then that'll be a standard. So that'll be a ten, so it's standard uh, again, another D3 for one. So I'll lose three of these. And no wounds on him. In addition to the smites, he's also played, what power was it? Um, that one was the Lightful Agonies. So they're basically on a six up feeling no pain. Yes. So it's on that oh, unit, yeah? On this unit, yes. On that unit there, where have they got? Right. Because I confused myself. <laughs> so they've got the Lightful Agonies, no problem. Right. He's got no more psychic to do because there wasn't any rangers and some of the powers were a bit useless. So he's going to open fire with these guys. Are you opening fire them all at one same tank or? I don't know, I'm going to use one grinder at a time. That's a good idea. Pink right, so this one. He's going to shoot that one with the white gun, whatever that is. The fancier looking one, the better painted. I will probably swap them two around if that dies. <laughs> yes, so, Harvester Cannon. Yeah. I've moved, so it's normally a four, needing a five. Needing a five. I'm not playing any shenanigans. No. Nope. Maybe I should have done. One hit. Strength of the Harvester. Is a seven. So you're going to need force to wound. We'll have that, AP minus right. one, but a damage of D3. Right, AP minus one, standard armour. Oh, it's through. D3 damage for free. Nice. And spirit stones allow me to ignore it on a six. Wow, I think that's four ones I've rolled in a row there. Flam bombardment coming in now, yep. Five, five shots. Five shots. So, right, so he's got five shots with the flam bombardment. I didn't realise it was that strong. Go on then, sir. And one hit. That's why we're talking to about front. But it's 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 two strength rates. You need a three. <laughs> right. Do I spend two command points? Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to do two command points. Actually, no. I'm not. I'm going to wait for you to declare. I've got to wait for you to declare what you're shooting at next. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, I've got to. And then it's the same one again. Same one again. Right. So I will spend two command points. So I've played lightning flash reactions. Minus one to hit. So it's Harvester Cannon. Needing sixes. Yep. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a six. No, no. And then, and then D6 shots. Bombardment. Two. One hit though, mate. Needing a three. Oh, come on. Right. What's he targeting? Well, since you just played that shenanigan, we'll shoot the He's other one. He's going to shoot the other one. No problem. Harvester Cannon. Yep. Huh. No, it's D6 shots for your flame. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh, I see we've got another six anyway. Jesus. Radio. <laughs> so I should get a minimum of two. Come on. One. Again. One. Well, at least it's going to survive. Needing three. And again, one. Wow. 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 Yeah. wow. It's because he doesn't need five. Chris's strength is when he needs really high on the dice. <laughs> oh, the hits, Fran, they weren't too good. They weren't too good. Oh, man. Now, but your turn, man. So we're going to be going into my turn. This objective. Is it the objective? No. Where's the next one? There. Yeah. Is it the objective? It is. It's a six. Well, I can't see dice. Oh, yeah, there it is. Damn it. That one. Oh, crap. Come and get it, Fran. Just before we go into my turn, we've got rangers that need morale. Leadership seven. The lost three. So three, four, five. They're okay. Right. Chris swearing on camera again. Um, these lads have moved up to try and support these. 
Um, Rev actually used fire and fear, the command point, um, just to basically make sure they're going to be, he's the closest. This lot have moved forward in my psychic phase. I failed, they, uh, he failed to cast any powers against them. But I managed to fortune these guys. So they've got a five up, feel no pain. Uh, all this lot have ran forward, pretty much all of my army has. I'm castling up. Yes, I know I am castling. And then these lads here have got protect on them. And then the warlock and the farseer managed to get out of the vehicle, successfully casting some powers and then managing to uh, have a look at these. As vehicles moved across and then the fire prisms have stayed still uh, in the psychic phase, which is now the end of the psychic phase. I'm keeping running because I'm running to get my actual D3s. These are a three-sided dice, which I keep having to explain every time I use them because people don't pay attention. He's going to heal D3 wounds on that broken. So for one, so that one's now back up to 10. But yeah, just to remember, just to allow people, to, I did spend another command point for uh, CA Council. So I'm now down to nine. Starting with some shooting shenanigans. So these guys are armed with an assault weapon. They're going to be firing into this demon. Are you wanting to increase your invulnerable save, sir? Uh, what guns have they got? They've got Wraith Cannons, uh, minus 4, d6 damage, strength 10. How many shots? Uh, one each, but we do need fours to hit because they ran. I'll, um, I'll risk it for him. You're going to risk it for a biscuit. Two hits. Two hits or six, I think. One wound, sir. It's yeah. uh, a bit of a shame. Thought I might have got a bit more hits on there. Chris now needing the five. His favourite, his favourite dice roll. Thanks, Fred. Oh, we'll re-roll it. Oh, he's going to use command point. For wasted his command point. I didn't, I didn't swear. I didn't swear. Five. Well, five wounds off. How many does he have, sir? Well, he had eight. He had eight. So he's down to three. Rangers next, trying to pick off the last three wounds from this. What toughness is he against six? Uh, toughness. Of... In freeze. I'll be honest with everyone at home, my hands are absolutely freezing. So he needs fives. I didn't get any sixes and just one five. So your standard armor, sir, which I believe is a three up on a Demon Prince. It is. Bounces off. Two more snipers are going to have a go. One hit. And no wound at all. That's, that's looking bad for that flank. This big thing now is going to open fire. It's going to fire a shuriken cannon into the... As Chris calls them, cannon fodder. And then the big gun is going to auto hit those three there. So, shuriken cannon to start with. Uh, Reroll ones because of Beal Tan. Two hits. Needing, toughness of them is three, isn't it? So, needing twos. Doesn't matter about any sixes, he's invulnerable. So, that's two wounds, sir, on the pleboids, as you call them. Oh my god, here we go. Some of that. Some here of that. we go. Big cannon opening up, D6 auto hits. For six. Now, I completely forgot what the strength of this damn thing is. So, striking out, strength 10 versus toughness 4, needing twos to wound. Oh, I failed two. Failed two. That's going to be four saves of your invulnerable, sir. Five plus? Yep. Next three. God's sake! God's sake! So, with Hang this... on then. D6 damage for six. So, you need six dice. And you ignore them on sixes. Aren't these about four wounds apiece as well now? Yeah. Right, these Dire Avengers couldn't actually see through my own guys to get hold of them. So they fired into this squad instead, supported by these Dire Avengers. And I managed to take out four guys. I am now going to go over here, because I've dropped the dice. This slot is going to open fire into them, because I don't like them. We're not ruined. So, here we go. I need him freeze. And my drop dice. And any ones, I get to re-roll. This many hits. Need him force to wound. Ooh. Both wounds. That wasn't very good. Go on then, sir. Coming up. So, three. So, one dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, so one dead. Well, hang on a minute, mate. Yeah. So, I've taken ten hits. I roll my sixes. Oh, yeah. Forgot about yeah. them. Ah, oh, that's not good. So that will kill one, yeah. that will kill the second one, and that will kill the third one. Well, well, well. So just there, managed to take them out. Next up, these lads here, seven of them can see through, so that's going to be 14 shots into these. Needing threes, re-rolling the ones. 
Ooh. And when I'm looking, not bad. I could have done with all them sixes for, actually, that's the hit. And I forgot about Blade Storm for another six. It's actually one additional hit per six. So another six hits and needing fours to wound. Oh, that's crap. <laughs> Can't many freeze. Seven. Oh, wow. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. I have nine fails there. Looking for seven. Oh, Leave all that one mate for the cock. I think I need it. No. Oh! So one's dead. So one's dead and one's down to one one's wound remaining. Properly gim. You're dead, sir. And what? So, I did try and chuck some spears but I'm out of range. This is going to open up. Two shuriken cannons are going into them. And the pulse laser is going into Pinky with the flesh. Mm. So the shuriken cannons to start with. Here are all the ones. And you know what I completely forgot to do is pass off his ability. That's too late now. Uh, freeze, two, freeze to wound. One. All right, well, that could kill one, friend. It could, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. But still, they are in my lines. I need to get rid of them. Two pulse lasers. Now needing fours because of movement into that. Both missed. Two freeze. Success. Success. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, crap. So I've opened fire with some shuriken catapult into those. Did nothing. Dark Reapers are now going to open fire. So I'm going to use, because I've given him fast shot. Um, so it gives an extra shot. So I'm going to fire his rocket launcher twice. Two plasma missiles into the ones that's already wounded. And then the rest of them are going to go star swarm missiles. So first off, I'm going to do the X shark. So 2d6 shots for 10. Freeze to hit. Again, I'm not, still rolling plenty of ones and twos. Freeze to wound. That's a lot better. Got five wounds against that squad. They've already lost four. Five to save. Oh. Not four gone down. And then the star swarms. Ten shots from the star swarms, needing three. Freeze to wound. That would be three, another six on that unit, sir. Oh, I'm getting abandoned here. Another five. Yeah, I was going to say, you had some really good, when that thing opened fire, you had some really good saves, and now it's, like you say, it's like we're not, uh, not paying any, the gods are not paying any attention. No. Pretty much the only things I've got left now are the fire prisms. I'm going to spend a command point for linked fire. Or it's, uh, yeah, linked fire. So both prism cannons are going to go into pinky and then the shuriken cannons if can see will go into that one remaining bod so that one's down to one wound remaining i've done the shuriken cannons off camera both prism cannons are stood still so they can fire twice they're going to go into pinky four shots because of the linked fire i get to re-roll all hit and all to wound rolls so needing freeze i'll re-roll that so re-roll the i didn't i rolled it because it was got there you go and it still misses, damn it. So, strength of 12? 12 it is, so it's needing freeze. All three, it's a minus of five and d6 damage. So, invulnerable saves galore here, Chris. Mm. Shenanigans? Yeah. <laughs> no, three um, d6 worth of damage. Uh, You've already used a reroll mm. for saving. Are you ready? Nine. How many wounds do we have? Fourteen. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well. I'm not using a command. I will knock myself down. I'm now down to eight command points. So if that extra one would have possibly hit wounded, I think I may have uh, possibly taken that vehicle out there. Right. Uh, but that would now be the end, apart from some morale, of my turn. So they've lost eight. What is their morale, sir? <laughs> Not very good, friend. Not very good at all. <laughs> so I believe we're a seven pretty much mostly around. So you've got two models left. So if it's an eight, does any of the demons increase your leadership? Um, only the keeper. Only oh. the the keeper. Nope, because keeper's over there. Yeah, and I've got to be within. Uh, so they would actually leave, wouldn't they? 
Because you've got eight. If you leadership seven. Eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they would disappear, and then they lost five to their fine. So just that squad gone, but the others are uh, still remaining. And them guys there, mate. Uh, they only lost, well, they lost two models. Exactly, yeah. So leadership seven. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Well, we're good. If you'd have ordered six, I think Chris would have cried. <laughs> right. In two. Turn two. Right. Yeah. Demons are coming in. Big Priest has already used the Psychic Powers of Delightful Likeness because we're at the start of the Psychic Phase. They slot have decided that they're not holding the objective. They're going to try and murderize these guys here. Multitude of units coming across. Uh, will I weather the storm? And then, of course, we've got these guys hurtling forward. That big Goliath decided to run forward because it had, it had very little movement on three. And them two have stood still. Right then, Chris, any offensive capabilities? I'm guessing there's some smites coming. Is that, is that yeah, it's <laughs> pretty much going to be a smite spam. Okay. Bellacor was going to do a cacophonic quiet, but since it's going up against their mighty leadership, there's not a lot of no, value in Yeah, it. yeah, leadership so is nine. Smite so. spam all the way around. I'm just going to go left to right, man, just for okay. convenience. This one? Uh, well, we'll start with that guy. Can he cast two? Oh, no, he can't. Because yep. uh, Yeah, so that one. Yep. We're in the five at the moment. He's cast D3 damage on the... One. So they will be down to two. Go on in, sir. Keep, is, it, is it next one? Yeah. A 12. Now, that can be D6 damage against these three wounded piece creatures with D3 wounds upon yourself, or you can re-roll it. I cannot stop that power, even though my guy, we did actually find out where he is within 24, can't stop that power at all. That was a four, wasn't it? It was, mate, yes. So... Oh. Oh, perfect! Yes. D6, and he's not suffering any po uh, but I could try and stop it. I do need double sixes, and there is other powers. No, I won't. Go on in, so I'm going to try and... Two! So you kill the one that I put a wound on. Okay. So, moving across... Oop, I'll put that in. To the keeper. Keeper, what's the keeper doing? So he's going to play smite. Yep. And so that's two smites so far, so this would be a might. So seven. Seven, yep. Eleven. An eleven. Do you want to cock that? Well, it's up to you. Well, it's it's in my favour, so you decide. All right. Can we put a, normally? Apparently, can you put a dice on it? That's according to our good friend Craig Mills. No. No. So you need to do that. I mean. Nine. So nine. Do I stop the smite on night? No. I'm going to let that go through. D3 damage on the tank, as it's been the closest. For three. Spirit stones. Ahoy. Not one. The main of Slanesh is going against a large unit of guardians. Go on then, sir. Needing a six, so this is his second cast. Uh, don't matter about that. Oh. That's a fail, and he can't re-roll. He's already used one this turn. Okay, okay. So he fails that one. So where's my, my next smite right. here? All right, yeah, so is he smiting? No yep. problem. So he's on an eight. Yep. Well, whatever the man. Whatever that's going to be, a six or seven is going to be a fail. Yeah, well, and the next guy is this guy. Yeah. Again, smiting. A ten. Yes, so. D3. Eight, nine, and he'll be a ten as well, won't it? Are you going to try and stop it with one uh, of your. I've only got another smite to go. That is true. I can. Actually, I've got three. Right, okay, yeah, I'm going to have a go because I've got three people that can try and stop. I've got a nine, I failed it. D3 damage against the guardians. One, I will put it on that heavy weapon. And what about your feeling or pain? I haven't got one. Oh, yes, I do. Thank you. Psychic like power. Yeah, nope. So, yeah, I've got I've had it. So, this guy will. And this guy. Uh, yeah, is that, yeah, 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 he will. Oh, it's a 12! <laughs> That's a D6 smite. I can't stop it, and he suffers D3 mortal wounds. So, I'll roll for wounds against him if you like. So, I've got D3 in my hand. He suffers three mortal wounds. I think that puts him down a one. Possibly, but it will cause D6 mortals against the Guardians. D6 for five mortal wounds against the Guardians. I'm going to try and ignore them. Not one! That's five! That'll be the platform and another four bods, I think. Size kick. I couldn't stop that particular blast. Uh, these two guys are going to be shooting. So the first one, what's he shooting at? So, I am now going to... <laughs> you can split fire with both of them, aren't you? No, uh, I'm going to start pegging the... Uh, I'm not worried about your tanks now, given the, the way the mission's going. Okay. So, I'm going to have to shoot the closest unit, though, aren't I? No, you can target anything. Anything you can see. So, I can shoot your council or have your characters uh, You can't hit the far side, but you can shoot the council. 
Yeah, we're going to peg them swine then. All right then, shoot so, the council. Uh, harvest a cannon from this guy. Yep. He's going to shoot the no problem council. So three shots three. need fours. Yep. Two hits. Strength of seven. Needs needs twos. It's two. Ooh. Uh, that's his shooting. Very short. Very sweet. Right. Close combat. So we'll do some charges and we'll bring you into the fight. Right, uh, no command points used, one command point used by me in that particular assault phase. He's managed to get into combat there, lost no wounds. One of these guys got obliterated as they tried to charge into these. No wounds suffered with him, he managed to save. The uh, keeper is in here. Those guys are in with both the keeper and the tank. We did lose, did we lose one on the way in? I think them, or... Oh, which ones? These oh, ones. No, not them guys, but they did. They did. They lost yeah. one on the way in. And then these managed to successfully get in. Now the big winged beast charged first, even though I told Chris not to as well. <laughs> and he still did. And it didn't eat the overwatch. Well, it did eat the overwatch. It, it ate it quite successfully on my part and died. Yeah. And then Chris didn't have any characters down here to be able to charge. So he's like, ah, okay, never mind. Yeah. But it will become a bit of a blocker. I still need to get to that. So then, sir, which one first? Um, I like to go in left to right fashion well, I plan. can interfere, so it's up to you. Because well, I, might, I might interfere against that Bellico, because I actually cause D3 damage with my fists. Yeah, well, we better uh, go with that one first. Then, okay. We <laughs> so we're going to go with this lad first. Yeah. Going with this guy first. Seven attacks because of the Olympic Talons. Go on then, sir. Needing twos, re-rolling the ones. Some good cluster of hits there. He needs threes. Do I roll all the twos? Probably. Yep, like you just <laughs> two, two, two. Right, uh, it's a minus of two. Is it from Malefic Talon, yeah. sir? So I'm going to need fives. I don't get any, so you do take another one of these guys out. Yeah. Right. So I'm not interrupting because he's gone with that and he's managed to kill one. So the prince in the corner, seven attacks, all hit. He's going to need strength seven. seven. He's going to need twos, yeah. and he kills them all. Which he should. They're all dead. Keeper going next. He's got. 12 attacks in total with two different weapons here. Uh, so the first one then, sir. Yeah, I'm using if I get to reroll. Uh, I reroll with one. And yeah, so these, I won't reroll the one state. So two state, doesn't matter. You've got them all. Which one's this then, sir? Is this your sword? This is the soul steel sword. Soul yeah. steel sword. So it's strength is seven. Yeah. He needs fours, but he can reroll all of them. I don't really think you needed it. Wow. A so, AP minus three. And AP minus three. three and three damage. That is six. Four, five, six in my hand. Well, that's five. That's gone through. <laughs> three, six, nine, twelve. That's a lot to do. <clears throat> right, so I've got nine wounds left. So that's three. That's six. That's nine. It's dead. So. <laughs> Do I explode? Can you make it voluntarily explode? No, I can't, I'm afraid. I'm not Mechanicus like your other army. Right, so Chris is going to be doing both squads together. So these guys and these guys have both got squad leaders. So it's going to be, what, 28 attacks? 25, 26. 26? Yes. Uh, needing freeze. Yes. That's a Demon Prince re-rolling ones. Yes. And plus you want of a strength due to... That guy. Um, Locus of whatever it is. Yeah. Reroll your ones. Not a lot of freeze, Derek. No, not a lot of freeze, fam. Two just, twos, isn't it? Yeah, Everything I'll else. Chuck your twos. twos. There's another one there, mate. I'm sorry, I'm not even looking. Yeah, no, me neither. I didn't see that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh kind of did the same as what I did earlier. Similar, similar and then much. plus one strength. So you are now wounding me on. Three, uh, freeze. But sixes will be minus six four. Sixes will be minus four. Instead of the minus of four. Alright. So put your sixes to one side then, sir. Oh, Jesus. So that's four, and then <laughs> lots of wounds. So I've these saves a six against the nine that's come through. Because I'm putting him on the. So that's three. And then there was four. So I need to roll them again, plus four, for my five up, feel no pain. So, one, two, three, four, five, six guardians have gone down, because I did declare it was against the guardians. So the demon prince is fighting. 
Two is going against the uh, these guys, and yep. then five is going against the warlock. Yep. So the two colours, because he needs twos to hit. So the reds will be against the warlock, and the rest of them will be against the guardians. So strength for seven, so I yep. think whites are two, reds twos, reds are and reds are threes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, plus one strength, so it's strength eight. Okay, so that will be twos on everything then. But not that. But not that. Now, it's minus two from Lithic Talons. Yeah. So that will go through, and how much damage is it? Yeah, two. two. So I would need two five ups. No, so one of the Guardians dies. Uh, and then. Uh, I own, could only affect one Guardian. You rolled two. Yeah, saves. I have to roll two. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. All right, yeah. Um, five then, sir. So five four up in buns. Oh my god! Two's gone through. That's four wounds. That will mean he is dead. He is down. Yay. And a guardian. Yoink. Right, some murderizing, some tenderizing. These are not passive. These are fail. These are not failing a break test because I am within 12 inch of the avatar. And we've got all this lot. So, so whether or not I slow some of these guys down. Three left on that. They're not going to be needing to take a morale. They're good. Right. Let's get into Elder Turn 2. So in my turn, they've fallen back. Wraith Guy can still shoot. I'm going to find out if them rangers take him out, then I'll probably shoot him, but <laughs> hey-ho. These guys have fallen back here to allow all this lot to be open. And then, of course, all the Dire Avengers are coming through. Uh, all the Aspect Warriors are still within 6 inch of Azraman. And I've managed to cast Guide on those, um, yeah, those Dark Reapers. And the Avatar standing proud, making sure that everyone's you know, not running off. I lost two guys to perils because I rolled a double six, rolled, re-rolled one of the dice, got another six, and then Farquhar cast a power, which basically meant I suffered two D3 mortal wounds. So I suffered four, lost two guys. The Farseer, of course, adding to his cast, but they did manage to cast Jinx on him yeah. before this happened. And then this lot, the standing still, so a big, oh yeah, in the beginning of the psychic phase, he recovered another three wounds off that, taking it back to its maximum 12. Ooh. So, he's going to cast, beginning of the shooting, he's going to pass his power onto, his warlord trait onto him, meaning that he can reroll all hits. I'm going to start with this, so it's going to put the shuriken cannons, in fact, it's going to put everything into that. Shuriken cannons needing threes to hit. No need for rerolls. Toughness is seven. I believe. Need fives and sixes. Three sixes. So that will be a minus three. Three fives coming so up. Five ups. You got one. Oh, it's still, <laughs> still there with a wound left. Two dice. Needing threes with the pulse laser. We have all the fails. Oh, still only got one. Needing threes to wound. It's a wound. Minus a three. Straight three damage. Oh, he's uh, cocked. Cocked. oh, what a yeah. roll! <laughs> yes. He still does it! You bastard. <laughs> Down to one. Two shining spears then. They're going to chuck up. Needing threes, I think. Oh, double one. Well done, lads. Perils, yes. Damn you. I'm going to go with Azraman next. Four shots with his Avenger catapults into that one wound guy. Um, I can target the other character if I wanted to because characters don't block it for other characters, but. He's only got one wound, I might as well try and get rid of him. So I need two to hit. I can't reroll because he is not Bale 10. I don't believe. I'll double check. This, the one with the green helms, they're going to throw one grenade into them, plasma grenade, from the uh, sergeant. The rest of them are opening fire upon them three that's left. Because killing squads is the name of the game. I get to reroll my ones and any sixes for Blade Storm, which I apologise I did forget to. So that's them four. When I got three sixes, so all them would be hits. That's a lot of hits. Needing threes to wound. That's going to be four. Oh, only six. Six wounds against the three. Technically should be dead, but this is Chris. Oh, and that's fine. <laughs> so they have gone. I'm going to D6 shots for grenade. One shot, wicked. Needing a three. A three. I, need, I need to hit. I've missed. So the plasma grenade goes wide. Dark Reapers are going to open up next. They've got Guide going against the Keeper. Chris is spending two command points to increase the invulnerable save of the Keeper to four. So, the first lot of missiles. I shouldn't say that word. 
All hit. Use a strength fake. Minus three, three damage. All wounded. That's five wounds on the lovely lady, good sir. Uh, yeah, and you need fours, mate. Fours. Oh! Uh, gonna reroll one. You're gonna use a command point. Yeah. Uh, nope. That's three, six, nine, twelve. Well, wow. so. So twelve damage. Ignoring them on sixes for your Aegis yeah. or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Oh, four dice there. So it goes down to half. So that's eight. Yeah. Wow. The crack shot rocket. Two hits. Strength eight. Only one wound. Minus of two. Four plus. Yeah. Saved. It's not looking good, that. That should have been better. Right. I'm going to use two command points for fame retreat. The guardians are going to open up into these with their normal weapons, and then the lance is going to open up into the keeper. So normal weapons first. We roll in the ones. That wasn't as good as what I thought it was going to be. Going to need threes. That was absolutely pretty decent. So you're looking at three, six, seven, eight wounds against that squad, right sir. Here. Coming up. One, two, <sighs> four down front. You know. It's still, still. <laughs> Chris and his fives. And then the bright lance. It hits. It doesn't wound. God damn you. Right, the other squad of Dire Avengers are going to fire one pistol, one guy into him. The rest are going to fire into him. So I'm going to do a pistol and the guy first. That's Two hits. Three. Need freeze. One wound. Hey! It's finally gone down. And then this lot. So we've just done a lot of shots off camera because I didn't think it would do anything. And he's managed to go down finally to the Whirling Doom. Um, did actually do a bit of a swirly swirl and smash. Right. These guys are now going to try. Do a fire at that. I'm going to fire at that, Chris. I'm not going to fire at that. Uh, uh, I split fire. Four of them are going to fire into him. Four of them are going to fire into them. So the four into him. Lean freeze. Re rolling any ones. Hmm. You got a six there, I did. So that's an extra hit. Thank you for reminding me. I'm needing your toughness seven, aren't you? I'm needing fives and sixes. Fives and sixes, lads. I got one five. <laughs> and he's saved because it's an armor save. Oh no. Minus one because of the... Oh, he, does he explode? You roll it. You want me to roll it? Yeah. It's pretty weird. No, he doesn't. That'll do. I'm, I'm thinking that I would have been <laughs> so bad there. And then one. One, two, three, four. Another four guys firing into the squad. Bearing in mind, guys, there's still about 300 points worth of Chris's army off the table in this 2,500 point oh, game. Right. Uh, and that would be four, sir. Three down. Three down. That's enough for decent ish morales. Right, I'm going to come over to this side. So, two snipers are going to try and hurt him. One hit. I got a six! So, he suffers a mortal wound, meaning he's down to two. And then you've got your armor save, sir. So, but. What I might do now with these guys is just put one cannon into him and two cannons this way. This might end up with nothing being killed, but there we go. So the one, it hits. Does it wound? It wounds. It's sick. <laughs> Hope yours, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> two shots into the Bellico model. Both hit. Both wounded, sir. More saves. Oh, it's a five and it's a six, you, you utter, utter bastard. Hey, you gimped one model <laughs> in one Overwatch. So have some of that. So going with both of these, linking fire against blue and the shuriken cannons are actually opening fire into them. I've rolled them all together, so I've done those on camera, killed another three. And then four shots with the prism cannons on Lance. We roll to hit. All hit. Freeze to wound. Three roll to wound. Three wounds, sir. Modifiers? Minus five. So five ups. And yep. what's your damage? D6. Oh, 
come on. You see, I'm saving me my quest, but... I know, you're saving your normal guys, but... That'll be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And how many's left on that then, sir? Four. Oof, that's taking a nasty smash. Right. But, he has plenty to kill with. I can't charge with them because they fell back. But I am chewing his army up, and then we've got a morale on these guys to do. Five, which is five. Eleven, minus seven, and he's dead. So they actually go, they disappear, they blink out of reality. Alright. Uh, hmm. But, it's whether or not he tanks some overwatch and starts chewing through some stuff. And then these two have tanked some shots, and uh, they're ready to chew up my entire right flank here. So I am losing men as well, he's losing men, we're both losing men. Yeah. But my tanks are down this flank, well to be honest he's ignoring them. And they are helping but, but, hmm, let's get into turn three. Okay, bringing you up to speed, these have only shimmied, they smited, killed one and wounded the other. And then... This lot's moved forward. She is wanting to nom on some Guardian Souls. Did try to cast some powers, failed. So no powers cast down this particular side. But we're now onto the shooting phase. Chris did bring him in his buddies. And his buddies went, yeah, I'm gonna go here. And it's like, yeah. great, no problem, bugger. Right. <laughs> so basically, whatever I try and jump onto that, he's just gonna wade through. I'm gonna have to be really careful as I try and get up there now. Right then, sir. Tactics, tactics, tactics. These guys are shooting. What yep. are shooting at? This saw grinder. Yeah. Shooter, shooter. These guys. We'll shoot those guys there, no problem. Yeah. So harvester cannon need yep. fours. There you go. It's all of them. Nice. Needing two, sir. Yes. Strength seven. Three minus one. So they are within six inch of Azraman, so They will have a four up invulnerable save. And I failed too. <laughs> Good old Azamon. So, gone. And then he's got his belchy belch. Yeah, now you're taking them to I'll just check it's still fit. It should be, because it's supposed to be simultaneous. So. Oh. Belchy belch, just for, for three shots. Fours. Two. Do it. Needing uh, twos. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah. And then another one. So I lost three from that squad. And the other guy, but he'll need five now, because you give it him. Yep. Is he firing at the same unit? Same unit, yep. Yeah. Uh, so one, a two, and a six. So I need a two on that. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> and then belch your belch. Three shots. Fives. Two. Oh, Christ. And twos. twos. And two fail. Being within six inch of Azraman doesn't really do much for me. <laughs> I'll take that. That's bad. That's it for shooting phase. So a very quick turn into the charge. Starting the combat going left to right, I've only got two command points left and I kind of need them, so I'm not going to be using them for this. So seven attacks from him. Rerolling. Yep, yeah, reroll the ones. So six hits. Strength of seven. And you're going to need freeze. Yep. All of them. So whatever you say it is, in or whatever. No, it's not in run, so it's a minus of two. So it's going to need, I need fives. Yeah, and it's damage two. And it's damage two, so that'll kill one and that'll kill the other one. They're dead, Dave. They're dead. So we're going with the Greater Demon next after them have been chewed up. Five attacks now on the profile. All, All hit. All At strength five. No, you uh, need... Plus uh, one. Oh, plus one. Right, no because problem. Because of the sword. That's we, it, yeah. Plus yeah. one because of the sword. So it will now be twos. And then there's that guy's buff as well. Now, what's the minus? Uh, on the sword, three. Right, so, and the damage? Uh, three. So I'm going to try and tank it on my heavy weapon if I can. So it's a minus of three. He's got four wounds. So, and the damage is three. So the first hit, I save. Second hit, I don't save. So the heavy, so the heavy weapon goes, which will give you a wound back because that's a model gone. And then another two go, so I'll give you... Three wounds in total. Thing. Right, so because he's got his wounds back, but at the moment he's fighting simultaneously with the other weapon as well. So another five, oh, needing yeah. twos, and then needing threes, but plus one for the strength because of the character, so needing twos again. So and then what's the minus on this one, sir? Uh, three and damage three again. So that will be another four guardians dead. 
so she's chewed through stuff he slash she they've chewed through stuff no guardians left but so we've got plenty of these fellows to come through i think i'm not quite sure what the speed of them horses are 14 yeah very fast plus a d6 if there's a character plus one and then plus one for charge as well but if i kill the characters then the only other characters are these so they would have to swing back to be able mm, right okay elder turn three is going to be interesting Obviously. okay not a lot of movement from the elder lines apart from up here just trying to get them within range of that i'm cautious regarding this i need to try and get as many people forward to try and blast them as i possibly can because that is a big charge that's going to come hurtling my way and i will hurt if that hits me them i've kind of got to leave i do have two shots with pistols. Oh, two hits. Did I tell you what? Uh, into the wounded guy, of course. Yeah. Um, and double one, well done. And then, of course, three inch to give that re rolls. So, interesting if true. <laughs> um, grenade and that is going to fire into those guys. So, I've fired them two that's left from that squad plus Azra Man and taken out two of those guys. So I'm going to go now with the Reapers. So five Reapers, again into your big beastie. Uh, chucking the invo, of course. Chucking invo, yep. Freeze to hit. Rerolling fails for guide. All hits. Freeze to wound. Four. So an even fours. Yep. Can we roll one? Never, never managed that ever. I don't think you have, no. That will be 369 wounds, sir. Yeah. So how many is left on the model? 7, 8, 9, 11. 11. So 9 wounds, needing 6s. So Aegis. And he's dropping them on the floor. That's a bad roll anyway. So I'm down to uh, 3. Oof. 2 crack rockets coming in. Needing 3s. Both hit. Needing threes. One wounded. Four up. Yep. Saved it. The Avatar will swing the sword above his head and chuck a fireball with the Whirling Doom. He hits. He wounds. Uh, six. And he pissing saves. <laughs> that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn you, Chris. Yeah, you've done, you done eight wounds just, there, friend. Just god damn it. Right. Big blob squad, pistols fired, killed the last one of those. The rest of them, 18 shots now, into this one. And I need to double check I have the right amount of dice on Hang on. 18 hits, including the re-rolls. Then you fire. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five wounds, sir. And you've got three left, 50-50. Unbelievable, what a day. Do we explode? No, but I might get five sixes. You never know. You'll oh, this three. is true. This is true. I think she's gone down. Dead, yeah. Right. Oof. That took some chewing. Right. Through the combine shooting of these guys, plus the tank, the other soul grinder has gone. I'm spending another command point, knocking me down to one for linked fire from these guys into this one. Opening fire into that guy. Need him freeze. We roll him. All hit. Freeze to wound. Rerolling. No need. Minus a five. There's four wounds gone through there, sir. Oh. <laughs> can't kill it, can't because it's got more than twelve. Seven wounds. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah, you will. To the chest. Seven wounds left. Didn't manage to kill any of those in a single round of shooting. It's always had to be two. Uh, combat. So in the beginning of the charge phase, the avatar went, ha ha, splat. And then these guys go, ha ha, and they end up there. So now it's going to be turn four. I've yep. got two turns to be able to try and get on that. I have, the, the reapers could really, really hurt, if they're successful, could really hurt the horses. Well, you might but it's, think that. But I, I might think, think that. that, no. I think, well, I think they could, two shots apiece, strength. Yeah, they, Five, two damage. Yeah, could, could hurt him. Could hurt him. No, no, they literally could hurt him, but if I could see them. 
that's what I'm going to tell oh, you. Oh, the Reapers are there. Oh, you're going to like hide them now, are you? Yeah. Right, okay. Coward okay. Coward cowardly cowardly turn. turn. Yeah. <laughs> right then. It's Demon's turn four. Right, I've got a mouthful of chocolate. Watch the top 10 videos, you'll know. And of course, busy drinks, there you go. Um, right. The guy at the back is smiting, smiting the avatar. Yes! So it's D3. Come on. For one. Right, I'm going to check something. So he is being protected, and he gets a plus one to his saving throws. But this is not a saving throw, so five up. Nope, so he suffers a wound. And then the next lad, needing a six. Yep, seven. seven. I can try and deny this because we checked the warlocks are in range. A nine. So they deny you and say no. Uh, this lad now firing into these. These are still on a four pin run save due to the six inch radius. Yeah. Azraman. And it's on seven, isn't it? So that is on yep. mid profile. So needing fives. fives. Harvest the first. No. Right. And then Fleming. Four shots. Gets a hit. Gets a wound. In run. Save. No. So, to you, sir, I say you know. And, effectively, charge. Both guys got in unscathed. Now, it's two to interrupt. I haven't got anything, so he's basically going to be doing them together. So that's going to be 14 attacks. Yep, leaving twos. Zero in the two, ones. Two, zero in the ones. Oof. 14 hits. So he needs freeze to wound. This is going to work. Me. Maybe, well, I don't know, because it's two damage a piece. That's garbage. Uh, That's six. six. But it is my dice rolls, and everybody knows what happens when it's 50 50. So it's five normally, plus the one for protect. So I fail three, which would be six damage, because it's two a piece, isn't it? Yeah. So six dice. Should have put that map up, never mind. Five to ignore, and I ignore another three, so I suffer three wounds on that guy. Right, the avatar's attacking back. He's going to swing two at the one with two wounds left, and then three at the one with eight wounds left. So the one with two wounds left hit twice. Weapon strength, I believe, is eight. I will check it. Two saves, then, sir. Uh, what's your damage? Damage is two d six. Pick the highest. So I think I'm dead. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, definitely. One each at least, so he's gone down. Yeah. And then it's three attacks against the other one. I only hit twice. Uh, re roll your one. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. I keep forgetting about that. That's a hit. Re roll to hit against uh, Slanish units. That is three wounds, sir. Oh, are we going to die? Oh, no, no, you're not. <laughs> yes. You utter bastard. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> God damn you, Chris. That's me. God damn it, man. God damn it. So that save has put me in a pickle. One of the Slanesh abilities is to basically count as... Mm, sorry, apologies. Basically count as charging. So if I leave the Avatar in, he will fight first. And there's a good chance the Avatar will actually get killed doing this. I need to fall the Avatar back so that Vishlock can shoot that. And then maybe even get a charge off, possibly, I think, with Azraman. Yeah, Ah, oh, swine. So, Avatar fell back simply because, well, if I charge, I will be able to select, as long as I charge with one unit, I can select it first. But, if he's already in combat, he counts as charging, meaning that he will hit and kill the Avatar. This lot of kind of trying to make a screen. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. And there's lots and lots of ponies and horses down there. There's a chance that these can see the ponies and horses. You can down there. But oh, I need a lot of shots, and it's two wounds a piece. So it's whether or not to fire a D3 or the D6s. And there's a lot of saves of five. Right, I have cast guide on those, and of course, he's going to pass off the power of re rolling to him. So, Dark Reapers are going to shoot the Bellicor model. Star shot. Needing freeze, re rolling. Four hits. Needing freeze. 
Three wounds, sir. Minus of three, straight three damage. Oh, so the third is I'm dead. I don't. Pass is one. So down to two. So down to two. Two crack missile shots. I think he's dead. One hit, one miss. Reroll. Two hits. Face to wound. Two wounds. Two saves. Ah, you knew that were coming. You absolutely knew that were coming because it's Chris and he's a pain in my butt. Azraman, opening fire. All hit. All wounded. Three of them are free ups and one of them's an invulnerable. Three ups. We've always got one wound left. Needing a five. Oh! <laughs> Azraman just goes, Jesus Christ, our reapers, come on! And then shoots him in the face. Lots of times. Laser, gonna go into that. Two shots. Nearly freeze. Re roll. Two hits. Nearly freeze. One. Damn you! I've opened fire with this lot. There was a bloke stood out there with his squad. This lot annihilated his squad. Actually got rid of 12. All of them for opening fire, amazingly. Those guys opened fire, got rid of one. These actually can't see them because of the building and the crates. So whatever's in range is firing up at the soul grinder. So needing freeze, re-rolling ones. That is a hell of a lot of ones. It's a good job I re-roll them. Not one six though, out of all them shots. And oop, on floor. Oop. That's the one that fell on floor. I've rolled it. Not one six at all. So sometimes, off camera, I manage to roll six sixes. <laughs> but needing fives and sixes to hurt the big lad. So we're looking at two free armor saves, sir, and one in one. In one. No. Free armor. So he loses another two wounds. Yeah. It's down to five, which will put him nicely in his middle bracket, but he's not dead yet. Okay, spending the last command point for link fire on these. They are within range of them. I'm going to do the largest blast. So a D6 shot each. They stood still. Two shots apiece. It's going to be four D6 shots. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. I've got the dice. Freeze to hit. Rerolling fails. And their toughness is... Three. Right, so I need freeze anyway. I think I need freeze, let me check. Five, it's strength six, I need twos. So that's going to be four, eight, that's eleven. Best to roll them all at once or not? Yeah, yeah. It yeah, don't matter because it? it's one damage a free, so it's like taking mortal wounds. So that's one, two, and one's wounded. Jesus, how many fives and sixes did you want? Oh, I hate you. Right, Chris has now pointed out that it's easier, and from my vantage point of here, I couldn't see them. And then, I know, the thing is I still can't see it. It's because I'm looking through the lens of a camera all the time. Yeah. And then when I was here, I still kind of couldn't see them anyway, and I wasn't really paying attention. So, they should have rinsed them and I didn't. Tactical awareness, peeps. Tactic number one go to the opposite end of a table and check out your opponent's side every time you play the game. <laughs> yeah, about to do it. To be honest, we've had games before where I've had troops hidden away and it's like, no, you're not seeing them, that's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry I about just it. I forget where objectives are, me if I can't see. Right, turn five. Yeah. Let's see what you do. So. Right, Chris has moved everybody on to top of this. It's going to be a hell of a removal plan to try and get onto that. I would have to get round and then chat. This is going to be nigh on impossible. This has crawled forward. Five wounds remaining. I'm guessing you're shooting these. Yeah. Harvester cannon. Are you sure? Because I will take the closest ones off. I don't bother me. Okay. Six. Harvester cannon. Six is to hit because you moved. And then flam five shots. Oh, terrible. Okay. Right. Charge. Uh, charging then. Overwatch has happened. Two wounds off this thing. Chris rolled a five. Six inches away. 
from seven inches, six to get within an inch, and he doesn't want to use his last command point. I have a funny feeling this is going to be a draw. Elder turn five. Right, so in my movement, I'm hurtling myself towards him. I've got to kill stuff. I've got to charge this lot. I've got no command points left for rerolls. The Farseers cast Guide on them, Fortune on them. They've got Quicken. I can quicken the Avatar to try and get him closer in, which I need, I kind of need to do. Five, six, seven, they do. So he's going to move another seven, which can put him there. So he's now definitely in charge range of the big bad nasties, depending, of course, upon who Chris removes. This is getting interesting, but he does confer a buffer of a charge buffer to everyone around him. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's shoot some stuff. Right, um, just done a bit of shooting from this guy. He's managed to take out the last of them. So there is, as Chris has just pointed out, a way of getting it. If I, t if I table him and he's got nothing to hold on to the objective, then I win anyway. Because I've already got one of the objectives. So these lads here are opening fire upon those guys. Freeze to hit. Re rolling the ones. And any sixes, one, two, three, an extra four. So that's misses, but then I've got an extra four hits with the sixes. Freeze to wound. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not, not too shabby, that. Right, let me count these up. That's five, that's ten, that's thirteen wounds. Now, Chris, if you've ever watched the channel, he's good with this. So I'd, I'd expect normally about six or seven of these, but yep. I think this is Fran's day. So one, two, three, four, five. So that will be three, six, eight. eight. I still think that squad's alive. I've still got the, the grenade to go with, with him. And I still think some of the squad is possibly alive here. Yeah? Two of the squad is still alive. Plasma grenade. Two. <laughs> Freeze. Both hit. Freeze. Only one wounded. Saves. Saved. Azraman will try and finish that particular unit off. He hits three times. He wounds once. Well done. Uh, down to one. But it has opened up some avenues into those guys. This squad into the other unit. Rerolling those ones. Quite a useful power is the bell time one when you've got plenty of... Jesus! That is a hell of a lot of sixes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen saves on that squad. Again, people know Chris is really good with the five ups. Nah, he's, he's rubbish when it comes to anything else because every time he's had to do a three up, he's possibly lost wounds. But <laughs> five ups. Look how many he's got here. Nah, that's not good, man. That's still number nine dead. Yeah, but that's not the squad, though, is it? I've still got a grenade left to go with. Grenade for two. One hit. One wound. So that would be 10. Is that the squad then? No, there's 11 in this one. Damn it! <laughs> I love that there's 11 in this one. Right, so the little mini squad in mid is going to throw a grenade on him. That lad there is going to shoot two shots into that one. So I'm going to do this on camera quickly. Two shots. I got a six, so that's two hits. One wound on this lady here. She's gone. A grenade going into the other one. Six shots. Four hits. Three wounds. Dead. Right. Fan wings. <laughs> it's just this one unit left. Yeah. Right, let's shoot it up. So this guy, Star Swarm, is going to go in and I'm going to fire the plasma on fragmentation. I know it sounds a bit damn but weird, but... It's better. Right, so, Star Swarm to start with, re-rolling to hit for Guy. All hit. The Star Swarm is strength 5 or 6, either... Oh, it does matter. 5 minus 2 and 2 damage. 2, 4, 6, 7, sir. Well, I'll do them one at a time, then, because they're in. 
He's wounded. Well, you just take him off because he's too damaged. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you winning. You winning really good now, Brad. Uh, so one. He's gone. Two, three, four, five, six. Two D six plasma rocket for seven shots. Seven shots. Oop. Dropping dice on the floor. And then re-roll. There we go. All hit. I need threes to wound. Ah, only three. Five up, one damage apiece, Chris. That's gone wounded. It's two fives. Oh, Jesus. Uh, right. Now, I am going to do the fire prisms together. Because they're going to fire at them. But there's no re-roll to hit or wound at the moment. So 4d6 shots. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not good. You uh, scored some points because I completely forgot to bring those guys on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, unit Rangers never made it to the field. There we go. They went off for some tea. Right, freeze to hit. No re rolls. Three, twos to wound. Sorry, I'm strength six. Twos to wound. No re rolls. So that will be two, four, six, eight saves, one damage apiece. Oh, A laser thingy from him. Yeah, the whirling doom. It hits. It wounds. How many? Just one. Oh, it kills. It kills him. Right, so how many of them have died? Uh, how many have I got left there, man? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so, seven alive. Yeah. Eleven died. What's your leadership? Seven. So seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's ten. Oh, so that's, uh, that's one, two, three. So that would be all of them gone through morale. So I wouldn't even need. To, I was going to charge with the avatar, but I don't well, even think I need to charge. Well, technically you can't charge. So <laughs> how, where, where does that leave me? Because you technically can't charge. Do I get objectives? Well, no, because that you take your morale right at the end of a phase. Yeah. So I'd still be able to charge with the avatar. Yeah. But. Even if the avatar didn't do anything, you've just failed your morale, lost all the guys. Yeah. Which meant that I would score one of your objectives, which was War of Attrition, yeah. and not the second one, but you didn't score the second one either. Yeah, I'll take that. Then. So that would be a victory for one objective to me. Although well, having set a table, and I think you'd, you'd default win any objective anyway, surely. No, no, no. It's still based on objectives, even on a table. To me, on a table, and. If someone's winning by like six points and then you table them, to me the game's over, but they win because they've got six points. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But that was very, very bloody, very interesting. Chris holding back. And I do think the reason he got a tabling was because he held back. And I genuinely think if he'd have charged forward with a lot more, he'd have killed a lot more of my guys. He yeah. came at me piecemeal just to try and slow me up. Yeah, and I also I kept a unit in reserve, which yeah. traditionally I just stuck on the board and just seen how we got on. Yeah, that so, is true. Yeah. Tactics wise, different tactics for the game made it very enjoyable. And I am really liking the open play cards in match play rules. It is, uh, yeah, match play game using open play cards. Yeah. Very good. A lot of, uh, not a lot of Elder Dead, a lot of Slanesh Dead. Oh, please, a lot of Elder players out there, yeah. killing a lot of our Slanesh. And we did stop uh, Keeper of Secrets from nomming on a hell of a lot of Guardians. Yeah. Um, no, but that will go set up yes. for a nice little final flourish there. It nice did, it final did. Charge. Final fight. Christ, I do prefer it when it goes to five turns as well, rather than it being like a random game length. Yeah. I think if you've got a final finale, it gives you... It gives you better ideas on tactics, and I think I've made a video on that before, where I think the new 40k needs to be between three and five turns, rather than it being seven, or like uh, five to seven. I think three to five turns for the new version of the game is a lot better. Wow, yes. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you can. Um, if you want to watch some adverts on my videos, please do so. <laughs> it gives me revenue. Not a lot of revenue, but it gives me some, you know. <laughs> uh, and yes, I will eventually get a lot of these Eldar repainted. As you can see, when you look at the Eldar, there's different stages of painting because I have been collecting these <laughs> since 
my first one of my first box sets was Harlequins metal Harlequins from Rogue Trader so I am that old and that's how long and old this elder army actually is well thank you very much guys we'll see you next time